our royal fathers, your majesties, special advisor to the governor of Enugu State, I want to particularly welcome the school children who are here today. And I will explain why I want to welcome them specially. One of the things that I've done today since waking up was to speak with the students of King's College in Lagos. When I returned to my school or alma mater in 2004, the little boy who cried when his father left him there in 1977, who was not recognized as a minister of the Federal Republic, returned to those same gates 22 years after as a minister of Nigeria's federal cabinet. And so when I say I'm paying special attention to the children here, I do so clearly based on experience. But our ministers and governors are sitting amongst those children. And I want to proceed by paying my deep respect to Honor Chie I am not intrigued by the young man. I'm deeply intrigued by him. His intellect. And just his singular focus. This gentleman harassed me so much that I didn't have a choice but to begin to listen after some time. For me, that clarity of vision, the tenacity of purpose, his focus, there are such a stellar event, says something about him. And I'm going to be watching you. And I have great expectations of the great future that I will. Of course, I want to pay my respect to his team who have supported him to put all of this together. You're all very outstanding young men and women. We have in the house one of Nigeria's brightest minds, Mr. Henry Obaze. I had a speech prepared. And I've done this just for the records, because of the importance that I attach to this event today. And you would indulge me to just. Is that it serves the common interest of the public. And so at the core of the government's capacity to deliver on its mandate, to provide security, adequate infrastructure, social welfare, and foster a prosperous economic environment that engenders meaningful opportunities for the citizens to pursue their legitimate livelihoods, achieve their life's purposes, and overall improvements in the quality of life, is, is, I underscore, the intersection of political will, the strength of institutions of government driven by the intellectual capacity of its leaders. It was achieved under the guidance of leaders who had the welfare and the well-being of their people at heart who were concerned about the place of their people in the, under, in, the, in the global community. And those nations have continued to make progress today for the same reasons. And I hope that as the next set of elections come, you'll be mindful of some of these thoughts and you'll participate in, such, in a way to show that, indeed, the ears you have and not pieces of decoration by the side of your head. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be here, and I welcome you, and I look forward to a very exciting lecture. Thank you.